We're here at DeLand Showcase 2018 to look at an airplane that we've reported on recently. So it's not so much about buying or flying this particular airplane as it is building that airplane. And to do that, I've sought out an old friend in the business here who's going to give me some real good information. I'm Dan Johnson talking to Jay Kurtz. And if you don't, if you, if you feel like I know that name from somewhere. It's probably because I'm going to move your microphone a little bit and show you that t-shirt which says on it South Lakeland Airport. I would venture to say that everybody who flies in light aircraft who has been to Sun and Fun also knows about South Lakeland Airport. They, I don't know how many times I have touched down at that field. Indeed. That's your home field, right? Yeah, it is indeed. I know you to be a home builder of aircraft, assembly of kits, and I said that I have observed other people assembling this kit and was so impressed with the speed with which it could go together. You hear that kind of thing from some manufacturers and then it turns out to be a little more work than they said perhaps. Chip Irwin, the proprietor of this company says, you can assemble this pretty quick. They're all quick build assemblies. So tell me a little bit about your experience. You've just finished one of these, is that right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about that evaluation. Comes complete. Uh, it's all deburred, everything's ready to go. You've got some false rivets in there holding the structure false together. False rivets, that's a good term. And you'll, you'll end up taking the, the turtle deck off because you want to do some plumbing inside. So those false rivets will come out, but the rest of the structure stays in, in shape. And then you go ahead and do your plumbing, put the turtle back, back on, and you just start popping rivets. You start popping and popping and popping. And they and they kind of line up. I'm going to go. I'm going to go on this side of you because I saw a guy doing this part right here, and he was taking this piece of metal, which was at that time just sort of flopping around up here, yeah. and he, he he bent it back over, and he was going to put in rivets, and I went, "There's no way that 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 can work out just perfectly," and he put in the first rivet, and I went, "Well, okay, he got lucky." I thought I didn't know, and he just kept going that way, and yeah. in a matter of a few minutes, he had that particular whatever part it was done yeah. he was finished with it that's a quite a remarkable thing that I didn't I'd never seen that before you almost don't need clicos is that right so now, which uh, but clicos for those that don't know are little uh, uh, devices temp that temporary sort of fasteners. hold temporary hold things together while you do other stuff right. because usually you had to drill or do something right. you don't have to do that here I, you sort of use a lot less clicos than you would ever perceive on any other plane because when it goes back on it's staying it just fits yeah now the the people that are building this to that exact level of precision you know a little bit about their background and what they what they used to do and what they're doing now is that right well the people that build this kit I guess Czech Republic they probably a few years ago were building MIGs and so the level of skill that they have is readily apparent in this aircraft. I mean, they could have finished it off just as easy as they did what they did. Yeah, it's almost, it's almost a kit that you get built and then you unbuild it somewhat, so you build it. Exactly. Which sounds crazy, but it actually makes well, sense in the It does, because you, you know all the, parts, all the parts are going to fit. Um, the place where I use Clayco's was in the rear turtle deck. Ah, and you okay. want to be careful, uh, and I used Clicos up here, but you want to be careful on the two turtle decks. Don't close it before you're ready to close. It's awful tempting. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. Awful tempting. And you can get ahead. And, and then go, oh no, yeah. I forgot that part. That's huh? right. And so then you go inside and upside down. And that's <laughs> and that's where it's a lot of work. That's where, where you can make some work for you that you shouldn't have to do. Mm -hmm. You have built other kits, is that correct? Yep. And you've done that quite a bit, is that correct? Oh, yeah. How much have you done? Forty times. Forty airplanes. Mm -hmm. Four zero airplanes. 
Folks, I don't, I don't know that I've ever heard that from anybody before. That is a big number. That's a lot of construction. In fact, I'm looking at one right there, am I not? Yes. <laughs> There's a beautiful RV over here that's for sale. Jay I, built I that, do, and you built some other ones. In fact, I, do, I went flying I do, with you. In a, I do one a year. One a with year. The, with the RVs. <laughs> so that's an amazing thing. But And, and Vans, it's obviously, it's the most popular kit in the world. They do a fine job. They don't quite do it the way this one's done because when you build that one, you've got to have a, a, a pretty good all tool chest, the tools, right? All the tools. Which is both an investment and knowing how to use the tools yeah. and, and keeping those tools in good maintenance and all those kinds of yeah, things, yeah. right? So now all those other 40 airplanes of experience, which is a darned impressive number, bring that to this airplane and talk to me about tools, workspace, and, and, the, and the task that a new owner would go through with this airplane? You need, I use a 12 volt hand drill, battery operated, and pop rivet tool. Just a hand pop rivet tool, not a powered one? Well, you got a powered one, I got so you surely so use it. I use it. it. I yeah. could do it without. You could do it with a hand pop rivet tool? Oh, yeah. Not not nearly but the task of let's say building an RV. I'd, I'd have arms like Papa. Yeah, right. But you like the powered one. But uh, that's yeah, still that's it. not a lot of tools. You, no. you you don't need any special jigs. Could no. Where could you build this airplane? This Merlin PSA. In a garage. I, I don't know if I could build this airplane. All right. How would the, you respond to that? They can do it. Where they're going to run into trouble, and most people will run into trouble, and takes me the most time, is the painting. Ah, yeah, painting is kind of an art form, isn't it? Oh, well, it's more than that. It's a, it's a labor of love. It's, uh, it just, it's a never-ending task. What I typically do with my planes is every part is painted before I put it on. Oh, it is? Okay. So, I don't go through that process of how most people paint. Every part's painted before it goes. When it's assembled, it stays. And I did that with this, mm. which took more time away from the original building process. However, if I just zipped this thing together and told somebody to paint it, yeah, you'd be flying real quick. Okay, so let's let's assume you did that because I'm thinking a lot of people probably either don't think they know about painting, don't want to tackle it, uh, don't have true. the skills, whatever. So let's assume that you're going to find a shop to paint it for you, which will you know cost you a few bucks, but you know, maybe not that backbreaking. But up until then, up until painting, but including everything else, tell me about the length of time you think someone should spend building this. The company says really short numbers. Well, Is that factual? Let's put it this way. I spent more time painting than I did building. Okay. Well, there's there's, so there, a, there's, there's a dividing your line analogy. for you. I could do it in three weeks easily. Easily. You say. However, I wouldn't. I would say take a month and enjoy it. Okay, but, Don't but only a month. You, you didn't say take six months. No, 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 no. Or six years. Yeah, well, yeah much less, right? Right. No. Uh, this is a project. You, you get a smile on your face after everything's done, and there's not much to do. So it, the enthusiasm level stays very high through that, the entire project. They know how this plane goes together. They know at the factory where everything goes. They put it where it goes, and then they only secure with a couple rivets and they're dummies. You go back in and finish it up. You can't Excellent. go wrong. Excellent. Yeah. Jay, you've got uh, a lot of experience. Thank you for taking some time to talk to us about this. If people said, well, you know, uh, yeah, I'm talking to the company, which you can find at uh, aeromarine-lsa.com. That's how you buy the airplane. Yeah. And they can give you a lot of advice, too. Chip Irwin, the proprietor there, knows a lot about it, too. But you're someone that, could, that people might want to say, you know, uh, can I talk to that Jay guy to find out? Maybe how to do this, or to really—I got a couple questions you forgot to ask him, Dan. So where do we find you on the web, Jay? Um, Lightplate.com. Okay. Or you can always call me, eight six three seven zero one zero 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 zero. Or, and or they could come and visit you. They in can South come Lakeland. visit. And if you're at Sun and Fun, coming up here in a few and months. And I do builders assist. I and mean, even on a project too. like this. Great. People. Want someone to help him. Well, and fortunately, we're next. also now hearing that uh, rules with FAA are, are coming through thanks to EAA. They worked hard on this thing yes. to say that now Builder Assist is going to be formalized. It's always been possible, and it's, it's really developed in the last few years, and they've finally gone, hey, you know, this is really the right way to have this done. Well, it guarantees 
that somebody that builds their first airplane is going to have some guidance through the process. And get it right. Be get safe. It right. All right. Um, and I've been doing this for years, and it works. And I've cleaned up some real messes <laughs> that people have. I'll bet you have. Thought they were going to. They were okay. For information about the airplane, to purchase it, other matters like that, or the Electro, another airplane that the company sells, go to aeromarine-lsa.com. Yeah. You can find more about the Merlin, about my flight with Jay and his RV9 some years ago, and many other things in the affordable aviation space at bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Jay Kurtz of South Lakeland Airport and myself here at DeLand Showcase 2018. Don't miss the 15th Annual Sport Aviation Expo at the Sebring Regional Airport, January 23-26, 2019. The Sport Aviation Expo provides the opportunity to review aircraft and do demo flights. The event features light sport aircraft and includes kit planes, powered parachutes, trikes, gyros, amphibians, drones, ultralights and electric powered aircraft. With over 150 different aircraft on display, including the Aeromarine LSA line of light sport aircraft. Sebring is a show where attendees can spend time with factory reps, checking out their dream plane, hanging out in the forums for the day, or just passing the time hanger flying, with friends old and new. There's also a long list of great speakers with talks ranging from informative to inspirational. Again the dates for the U.S. Sport Aviation Expo, at Sebring Regional Airport, are January, 23-26, 2019. We look forward to seeing you there.